the, we've been at the centre of electromagnetic field computation development for a long time and initially starting with the solution of integral equations in order to calculate fields in 3D because um, automatic mesh generation techniques for 3D weren't available. Um, I guess the integral, solving integral equations was possible on the computers that existed in 1970, a long time ago. Um, but it didn't, it wasn't good enough to give us the accuracy that we needed for um, accelerator applications. We really needed to look at different techniques and that led to the development of a program that we called TOSCA, the Total Scalar Potential, and except really it's total and reduced scalar potentials, which is um, the advantage of the method is that it enables us to use a scalar potential to solve three-dimensional electromagnetic fields, including current sources, um, rather than a vector potential, so three times fewer unknowns, slightly more chance of being able to get the accuracy that was required. Yes, and I, th I think the, the algorithm is extremely clever as well in providing that accuracy. The fact that we're not having to discretize the coil shapes yeah. in those yeah. in that in that uh, formulation, so we can concentrate the finite elements in the parts where you really need the high accuracy. And and that's, this is why for something like the the MRIs, where we're looking for perturbations of a few tens of parts per million caused by putting shields around them, we can still achieve the required level of accuracy that's, that's yeah, needed. Yeah. Because we're cheating. We're t taking off part of the uh, calculation which is easy, which we can do to whatever precision we like, and just leaving a smaller bit that... Well, yes, you're absolutely right. It's, but it's not really cheating. It's, <laughs> just, it's just being clever, it's really. Being sensible, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. uh, all power to you and Bill who thought this, up, this idea up in the first place. Yeah. We've just gone on and made, made the software more and more accurate, but at the same time made it much, much easier to use so that it can, so these, the advantage of this high precision calculation can be taken by, um, by ordinary designers who can concentrate on their, on their design rather than having to think about how to use a piece of software. <laughs>